Hi, it's Maria with the RV Keys. Today we're going to show you some kitchen hacks that we use both traveling and also when we're staying still. So I thought I would show you our kitchen area, which is the refrigerator on down to a little bit past the sink. And uh, what we're going to do is start with the refrigerator and work our way down to show you a few things that we do. So obviously a refrigerator, everybody has one of these locks of some type to keep your refrigerator shut. Now, if you're like the rest of us, what happens is when you're traveling down the road, everything comes tumbling out. You open the refrigerator and things are falling from those various turns. So we use a different uh, type of rod. This is one that you normally can find in camping stores. And uh, it works very well to keep all the water and stuff in that we keep here. But what happens is these drawers come out and they get stuck. Things fall off the shelf here. You notice I put healthy stuff there, folks. See, lettuce, you know stage this correctly just kidding we really actually eat that stuff and um what we do to keep this in and these drawers here in is we actually have a couple spring rods that we keep right down at the bottom of the refrigerator and what we do is basically you fit them to size and we put them crisscross across the refrigerator across here and here then we take them down when we stop and we can have easy access but it keeps everything from being open they're very cheap. We'll send you a link to Amazon. It'll be in the description. And I, again, for storage, when we're staying still, we just pop them up down in here. And now that I just made it larger, there we go. And that way they're out of the way. Now the next thing is we're very lucky to have a pantry in ours. And this is our pantry. And one thing you will all learn, containers are very important. Uh, we keep several of these different sizes you can find on Amazon again uh, depending on your size you can measure and get the best fit these are tall and thin and they fit very nicely in here and it helps us keep everything organized in our pantry but what we did is that pantry was so handy we found that we had this big little narrow drawer very long I could never reach to the back of this big space and we went shopping and we found Red slider shelf now we keep our cat food in. We've uh, kind of taped this side up because the cat cans are small and they can slide through here. But if Ben will come around to this side, or I can just show you, we keep all our cat food. We have several shelves here for liquid treats. Uh, we also have our bingo things stored there. Sometimes you make do with space. So this is a very handy thing to do. And for traveling, we found out that again, when we turn a corner, we come wide open and all the little cat food cans will scatter. So what Ben did, he found a little lock here, and it's very easy. You just slide it, and now it doesn't open, and we're ready for travel. And also, you know, it also matches the uh, sort of the stainless steel finish of yeah. the sink. And, ben and did a good job of uh, installing it where it's kind of hidden. It matches the colors, and uh, it's really great. So the next thing is everybody wants space in their kitchen. Ben found this, and I'm so happy. I know we all keep spices, salt and pepper, and we got to find some people are lucky enough to have cabinets. Um, we have a Frontier 36SS, and you make do with what you have, but we found between the backsplash and the window here, we had some space. So what Ben has done is he found that space. We found these little trays. We'll send you a link. And again, measure to make sure it's the same size as yours before you buy anything. And then we put our spices right in here and uh, very easy. It does not block the view from the window. We got short spaces, large spices. I also, when we travel, keep the soap back there and keep it out of the way. Normally I don't keep the soap there, but I did that for today. Okay, the next thing, next hack we're gonna show you is our canvas. We had a couple little tricks that we use. Okay, going in here, and I was gonna stage this a little better, take these out, but I'm sure everybody understands RV space can be crowded. We use a couple things. This is Corel, and uh, I like Corel. It's pretty much break resistant and pretty much shatterproof. It will break. Um, I have dropped one and actually did break one. But for the most part, I can drop them. They don't break, they're microwavable, and as an added bonus, they're very uh, light. And when you're, if you're concerned about weight in your trailer or your camper or your motorhome, it's very light. And we have links for the description for this particular pattern, if you like it, uh, in the description below. Okay. Then the next thing is holders. Now there's different sizes. This is uh, one size. 
And what this does is actually, you just put your plates right in there. I put my bowls on top. And I actually have a larger one. Half food dishes. And back here I have a larger one. I don't know if you can see it. Do you need me to take it out there? Okay. Okay. This is the one we use for our larger plates. And what it does, it keeps them from sliding around when you're traveling and they don't break. I have no paper or nothing between them. We travel like this and we've been out to California and back twice just to give you an example of some places we've been and, and we're living in Florida. So that's cross country. Nothing has broken. So I love these little things. Well, something has broken. What has broken? Me? <laughs> No, morning has broken. Morning has broken. Oh, okay. It's a rainy morning here. The rain has stopped, so we're doing this video that we've been meaning to do. Okay, then on to the next cabinet. This is another tree. Everybody has to have baskets. We have coffee in the morning. This is easy to get to, and I keep our coffee, and uh, this is a uh, cappuccino drink that Ben likes. We keep them in here. We don't have to. We buy them in big boxes fill these up and that way we don't have to really worry we can keep the boxes in the bay down underneath and we're good and then we have tea and honey over here and this is my best trick the cups were driving me crazy they were rattling constantly and I was looking on Amazon and I will send you a link to what, what Amazon has but we happened to be in the store and we found cup holders and we asked them if we could have them they said sure so what we did is this is how their cups come back to the store and basically they're there they don't move, and we're good. I believe we found those in Walmart, actually, uh, on an MCAP. Was it Walmart? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so um, we got those, and that keeps our cups safe from rattling around and breaking. So we really like those, but I found a foam rubber one I think I'm going to order from Amazon that looks really good. I'll let you know how that goes in the future, but I'll go ahead and send you the link if anybody tries it before I buy it. Please let us know in the comments. The one list, well, actually two more things I'm going to mention here in our kitchen. One is we have this nice slide out paper towels. Cats have a little problem, a hairball. I can literally just pull this off, take it where I'm going. When I'm done, I can bring the paper towels back and slide it right back in there and it's out of the way. So it's handy if you have to go somewhere. The last thing that we notice, these stainless steel sinks, they scratch very easy. So I would really suggest that you get some type of mat. This is the one that we use that holes that lets the water drain through. It also helps stuff from going down the drain. And so we have that. So these are some of the things we do to help organize, help for travel and keeping our things safe. I hope you find this helpful. And remember, always open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with the, the RV, RV keys. keys. Have a great day.